All right, so in this problem, we have radioactive decay and we have the element radium and it's, we're told that it has a half-life of about 1,599 years and has initial, quality, has initial quantity of 15 grams and we need to figure out how much remains after 750 years. Okay, so when we have um, uh, uh, um, something, an object or a thing, I guess, that um, decays at a proportional rate, then as we learn, you know, in this unit, the solution will be in the form of y being equal, well, or you say y of t being equal to c e to the k t. This will be a solution. It'll be the form of the solution when you have um, when you have a a rate of change that's proportional. So if you have like something like dy dt is you know equal to k t or something like that. Um, so some proportional thing. Um, we're not going to prove it right. We're not going to prove it again, but you can always look in the previous in the in, in lessons in this chapter um, if you if you're curious. And and actually no, this is I mean the when the when the rate of change is proportional to the amount, not to time. This be k times y when you have a rate of change that's proportional to the amount of the object, in this case, y. Okay, so y represents the amount of radium left. T is the amount of, is the time measured in years. So um, if we are told that the initial qu quantity is 15 grams, that's what our C is. So we can say then that y is equal to 15 e to the kt. So we know that so far. Now we need to figure out the value of K though. We need to figure out the value of K. Once you know the value of K, then you can figure out um, how long or how much will be remain after 750 years. So one way to figure out the value of K is just to pick an arbitrary um, amount, um, meaning that let's say that if we're gonna take 15 grams then since the half life is 15 since the half life is 1599 years that means when t is 1599 i don't know if i said that right 1599 years when t is 1599 then y will be 7.5 so in other words this has an has a, the solution 1599 comma 7.5. I don't need to get that formal, but that's essentially what we're doing because that's half of 15. So we can do 7.5 being equal to 15 E to the K times 1599. And then we just solve this equation for, for K. We're gonna divide both sides by 15. We'll get one half being equal to e to the 1599k. From here, we can take the natural log of each side. The natural log of one half will be equal to the natural log of e to the 1599k. Using the natural log property, we have the natural log of one half is just equal to 1599k. Solve for k by just dividing both sides by 1599. So k will be equal to the natural log of one half over 1599. So let's do some calculator action for that. So natural log of 0.5 divided by 1599. And we're gonna get this small number. So about, negative 0. 
So we can write our equation for y of t as 15e to the negative point 0004335879177799t. Okay, so now we can solve the the problem. We can figure out how much remains after 750 years by evaluating this for 750. So we just take y of 750. We're going to put 750 into there. So I'm just going to do it all on my calculator. I don't mess up. 15e. Not that's not e. 15e. What's the 15e? There you go. <laughs> Negative time. 15e to negative point oh 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 four three three four eight seven nine seven nine one all right so i think that oh that's cool. entered correctly and we get about 14.94. Oh, I forgot to multiply this by 750. Jesus, oh man. <laughs> that was pointless. Did that just send you guys? Let me put that back in there. E to the negative. I actually entered that wrong too. I forgot to put the, wow. I, well, no, actually I didn't enter it wrong. The count. Let me do that again. Negative point oh 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 four three three four eight seven nine one seven seven nine nine times seven fifty. There we go. And bang, there we go. There's your answer. Ten point eight three six six. About ten point eight four grams, you can say. About ten point eight four grams. All right, so there you go. There's your solution. I hope that helps. Good luck.